But SEMA is a great place to think about what could be next, what is possible. We're going to take another bold step tonight. Let's take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a 1962 Chevrolet E10 concept. Welcome Russell Blanitz and Rich Downing from our engineering team. Guys, come on out. Here they are. Russ, looks great, man. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, we're super excited. And Rich is here as well. And guys, uh, it looks great. I didn't hear a thing. So uh, Russ, you got to tell us about the concept. Walk us through it. And while Rich puts a hood up. So last year we came with the E10. And now this year, this is our next step in our E-Crate. We took two bolt, complete batteries and full electronic systems. And then we built a next generation crate replacement E-Crate package. It actually has two next generation motors that are set up to bolt in and replace your current internal combustion engine. And, and what do they fit into? They fit in the bell housing? And yeah, the the, it has a LS bell and crank flange. You basically put a flex plate on, it bolts right up to, in this truck, we have a 4L75E, one of our crate transmissions. So what Russ is saying is, this is a direct replacement for an IC engine. For an internal combustion engine, this system is a concept E-crate engine. It's another generation. You're saying more, more production components than we had last year and it fits right into the bell housing and connects to a 4L75E. Exactly, any of our crate transmissions. What about zero to 60 times? Zero to 60 would be in the high five second range. And what about, uh, speaking of range, about yeah. what's the range? Yeah, Similar the range the will be right in the same as our Bolt EV, and um, really one of the concepts that we had when we put this together was the hot rod power tour. So we wanted to make sure we could go at least every distance without a charge. That's great. And then speaking of charging, how do you charge it up and how fast does it charge? Yeah, so one of the great things about running two independent systems is it allows us to independently charge each battery both with the standard plug-in and DC fast charge. Thank you Russ. Rich, tell us about the build. You quarterback the build. Tell us about it. Yeah, we scoured the classifieds like everyone else and I was lucky enough to find this uh, donor vehicle in uh, near Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, with a team of experts across our entire organization, we were able to pull this truck together in 18 weeks. Uh, so it was a, a massive undertaking for the entire team. Uh, it features a lot of carbon composite components, uh, including our front roll pan, rear roll pan, and the tonneau cover, developed by our design studio for aero performance, uh, and a host of body mods, including a uh, recessed grill, a smooth hood, uh, shaved drip rails, extended rockers, raised rear wheel openings, and the uh, smooth tailgate. Yeah. What about the lighting system? Yes, yeah, so we have LED lighting throughout the entire vehicle, uh, including our signature LED lighted bow ties on the front, the rear, and on the dash. And the chassis has been reinforced uh, dramatically in a heavy duty adjustable air suspension, 12 inch disc brakes, 20 inch front, and 22 inch rear wheels. And from an integration standpoint, uh, we've developed a cooling system to be able to allow that fast charge time that Russ talked about earlier, uh, as well as uh, regenerative braking. Guys, last year you brought the Ecopo. This year you got the E10 with even more production components. So this concept's another step towards an E-Crate propulsion system. We love ICE engines, but together, let's dream about what could be next. And we want to take another step in that direction. And SEMA is a perfect place to do just that. Russ and Rich, thank you very much. Let's get back in there. Let's drive it back down the ramp because we want to show everybody after this uh, press conference is over here. So let's get, pop in there. Thanks to Russ, Russ and Rich. Thank you guys. For over 50 years, Chevrolet has been at SEMA with products and concepts for the street, for the track, for the hot rodders. And also, we'd love to be part of dreaming about what could be next. 